Hello. Isolation. It has two congruent sides, congruent base angles, and two congruent halves if being split from the apex. Of course, I'm talking about the isolation triangle. Whoopsies, I meant to say isosceles triangle. Legend has it that the concept of isolation came from ancient Greek philosophers staring wistfully at this stoic triangle in an attempt to figure out the secret to mathematics. They stared so much that they neglected their family lives and their homes, hence the name isolation. Okay, so isolation can roughly be broken down into about four types or zones. There's the friend zone, the friend zone, the friend zone, and the I am alone zone. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, it looks like there's some real ambiguity in your description of the four zones, so I'll just clarify. By alone, I mean alone. Let's start with the friend zone, even though there's a lot of debate over whether or not it even exists. I'm sure a lot of people have been here before. You know, it's a fairly typical story. Hello, I like you. Hello, I do not like you. Hey, let's pretend to be friends while I slowly bathe in my own self-loathing, broken pride, and fractured heart until these feelings slowly eat me from the inside out and I disintegrate. Okay, the isolation someone feels in this zone can be characterized by a sense of frustration, a sense of not being understood, and a sense of heartburn from all the binge eating at midnight that takes place. The next friend zone can be characterized by having friends, but wanting to make more friends, and getting ignored by those people you want to make friends with. It can be really easy to take it personally when it becomes clear someone doesn't want to be your friend, so that's exactly what I do. The next friend zone can be described as being surrounded by a network of supportive friends, relatives, and family, but still feeling isolated. This is in my opinion one of the worst kinds of isolation because you feel guilty about feeling lonely to begin with. You're surrounded by so many kind and wonderful people and yet at the same time you don't feel like you can truly open up to them. It feels like you'll never be understood and if you feel lonely in a crowd of people is there any place where you won't feel alone? And the answer to that is your refrigerator. The alone zone is when you're alone. Typically, when someone is feeling isolated or lonely, they want someone to understand their struggles, someone to connect with. For me, that happens to be an electrical socket. Oh man, this video is getting a bit too dark. In reality, at some point or another, everyone will enter one of these isolation zones, and that's really nothing to worry about because it's completely natural. And sometimes being in there can be a great conduit for channeling creative energies. Here's a picture I drew when I was feeling lonely one day. And besides, you'll always have a friend in the isosceles triangle. So chin up, sunshine. Okay, bye.